Hello and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Derek Welker and today we will be discussing the Digger and Composer. The Digger tool allows you to create a detail view of your model as well as change the opacity and visibility of a specific section. To activate the Digger tool you can just hit the spacebar on your keyboard or you can find it on the Home tab. Once the Digger tool is open you will notice that it is a circle that contains specific tools. In the bottom left of the Digger is a tab that controls the size of the Digger. In the top right of the digger is what we call the percentage handle. We will discuss this a little more in just a minute. Over to the upper left is a little wrench icon. Once we select on this, you will see the rest of the tools display. Down on the right side, we have the center of intersect interest tool. As you can see right now, the digger does not display anything. If we move the digger over our geometry, then we can see what the digger does. But what if we want the digger to be outside of the geometry we must change the center of interest to the area we desire. Selecting and holding down on the center of interest tool and moving it to the desired location is how this tool works. Don't forget that you must hold down the selection in a click drag method. Before we continue with the rest of the tools on the, bo on the bottom right, I want to discuss the display options which are located in the top left. First, we have the onion skin, which peels away layers of geometry to display the inter internal components. Since the onion skin peels away geometry layer by layer, you can see how it got its name. I mentioned the percentage slider before, and if we adjust the slider, you can see how this changes the display. Next, we have the x-ray tool. This tool functions very similar to the onion skin, except it maintains some translucent or ghosted geometry. Next, we have the cutting plane, which is like the section view tool within SOLIDWORKS. The cutting plane orientation is normal to the viewing angle. Finally, we have the zoom tool, which is easily the most common. Think of this like a detail view. As we adjust the percentage slider, it zooms in and out as expected. Moving over to the tools in the bottom right, we have the light change tool. To use this tool, you must click drag the tool and place a light source within the digger. This illuminates target areas of the model. We will skip the next tool and move over to the lock unlock tool. This locks the digger in its current setting so that they cannot be adjusted. Once you make all the changes you want and are happy with the final product, you can capture the digger as an image with the last tool. This secures the digger view and can now be associated with that view. The digger itself will not save unless it is captured as an image. Please be aware that the High Resolution Image Workshop is also a tool for creating detail views if you would like another option outside of the digger. I hope you can use the digger more fluently now with this tech tip. Thank you for watching another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. See you next time. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.